probably the largest scientific instrument that's ever been created. At the CERN lab in Switzerland, huge tools are needed to detect tiny particles. But the real action happens underground in a cavern attached to this 17 mile circumference ring. 3,000 physicists working on this huge detector. This detector is, is uh, 80 feet tall, 140 feet long. So imagine that. With support from the National Science Foundation, physicists Michael Tutz at Columbia and Kyle Cranmer at New York University are among the 21st century explorers who have been searching for the mysterious Higgs boson. It's a subatomic particle that gives other particles like quarks and electrons mass. So tiny, yet where would we be without it? The universe would be a fundamentally different place. There'd be no life, there'd be no stars. Inside the world's biggest atom smasher, the Atlas detector works like a huge digital camera. It records the collisions of hundreds of billions of protons at nearly the speed of light. Our digital camera takes 40 million pictures per second. Thousands of computers, like these at New York's Brookhaven National Lab, filter the images of those collisions, looking for traces of the Higgs boson, which decays quickly. And the trick is not so much throwing stuff away, but making sure that you don't throw away the good stuff. In July 2012, scientists celebrated. We have discovered a new particle, a boson. We've seen something, and that something looks like a Higgs boson. Now that we have this new particle, we need to study it like crazy. We need to measure all of its properties. The elusive Higgs, also known as the God particle, has captured the imagination of non-scientists too. It even has its own music videos. This is a triumph of human curiosity. It's really key to our understanding of the universe. Tuts and Cranmer say that at CERN, the Higgs is only the beginning. More exotic mysteries lie ahead, from figuring out what happened after the Big Bang to discovering extra dimensions of time and space. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.